What's going on, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome to another NASCAR Diecast review for you guys. And today, this is going to be yet another shocking NASCAR Athletics Diecast review. No, it is not from 2020 Wave 3 or Wave 4. God, I wish I could find Wave 4, but I do have more reviews showing up for those for, for those waves very soon, especially for Wave 3. But it's actually good. A lot of you guys were actually pretty surprised on my uh, last NASCAR Authentics Diecast review, which was the uh, which was the uh, Matt Kenseth uh, DeWalt USA USA car uh, from 2016. And um, heck, I definitely love surprising you guys. So today we're going to be out with another one. I looked back at some of my old videos and I didn't realize I have not reviewed this car yet. So... Anybody who's a big fan of this guy, even though he's not in the playoffs this year and it's his final season, that's going to give you the hint of what diecast we're reviewing today, and it's going to be on Jimmy Johnson's 2017 Lowe's Cobalt Tools Chevrolet SS 400 Motorsports. Practically the final time we saw the Cobalt scheme run. I mean, if you don't want to count the Dawn to throw back, so that was that what like that was Rand and what like uh, uh, 2018. But yeah, this right here is practically. A nice looking die cast, guys, with a matte finish. And um, yeah, as you see right there, I mean, it probably has one of the most boring magnets I've ever seen with the hats. Thankfully, they have not returned to these because pretty boring magnet. I mean, I don't mind hats, but having a magnet hat, it's, yeah, you know, yeah, it's okay. But you see right there, I mean, just look how far. I mean, look at this thing. This thing's already showing some age right there from 2017. But, um, this was the second uh, integration of the NASCAR Authentics packaging from 2017 to add a lot more color to it, but not as much as we got now, guys, which, I mean, they, that's one good thing about these NASCAR Authentics cards, guys. Um, the packaging has got so much better. And if you guys really want to feel old, here's all the other diecasts that are released. I mean, look how many, look how small amount of cars that we got from, look at only seven cars. Yeah, I can count seven. This is before we had liquid colors, guys. And yeah, just times were a lot more simpler back then, guys. Look at all that copyright. But anyways, guys, enough of me just looking old and showing off an old diecast. Well, this ain't too old. We gotta talk about uh, and unbox this bad boy. Let's take a look, take a closer look at the Jimmy Johnson 2017 Cobalt Tools car for Henry Motorsports. Alrighty, guys, we have this diecast out of the box, and my God, guys, this was before the uh, the bad luck black struck with Jimmy Johnson in 2018. We had this bad boy right here, and you know he um, he only ran this car once, and that was at the Las Vegas race, because you guys know that was sponsored by you know Cobalt Tools, the Cobalt Tools 400, known for that beautiful confetti that we got. Which, by the way, Mark Truex Jr. did won that race in 2017. That was such a great year for being a Truex fan. But enough of me talking about Truex. I know a lot, about, a lot of people hate him now. But this is a great look at diecast, guys. I mean, it's probably the best looking Jimmy Johnson black scheme that we got. I mean, I don't I don't mind his outline schemes. But in terms of the Lowe's black schemes, this one probably looks better than his 2018. And right off the bat, we can already tell. It looks like we got some sort of a damage indicator right there on the splitter. Not quite sure what happened right there. Lionel still being inconsistent with their quality, even when it was in 2017. As you guys know, this is one of the first diecasts that we got that did not have the window banners. They took that around in, what, like, Wave 3, I believe, um, as this was a 2017 car. And actually, um, a lot of people didn't know this, guys, but instead of just having no sponsor, um, or uh, as you guys know, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, that was the first year we had in 2017, they just had a NASCAR logo right there, which I thought was pretty interesting, but they stopped doing that ever since. Um, but, yeah, I mean, and we do got some paint chips on the K right there. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you guys are familiar with Jimmy Johnson's 2017 Lowe's primary scheme, it's basically this. But the blue, where the blue is, that's basically where the bull, where the black is. And the black is pretty cool, guys. I mean, I believe this, I believe all the car is a matte finish, which I really do like, guys. It looks very nice, especially with the, the addition of the white. I mean, black and white and yellow, what a great color combination. I mean, there's just one part that's missing yellow, and I'm looking at that yellow 48 right there. There should be a yellow 48 right there. I know they kind of brought that back in 2016, um, which, by the way, I still got to review his uh, Pro Services car from 2016 that I picked up at New Hampshire. Um, if you guys want me to review that, because I do have a lot more Jimmy John's diecast to review, because um, as you guys know, it's his final season, and heck, might as well give the man some respect and review some cars I have not reviewed from him yet because it's only the right thing to do. And plus, you know, Jimmy Johnson is still a hot driver to talk about since he has nine more he has nine more races left to hopefully get that 84th win. But I mean, my God, guys, this is a beautiful looking diecast. I believe Jimmy Johnson actually ran pretty well at this uh, in this car. Um, 
it's a shame he only ran this car once, guys. I mean, I remember when they, he drove the Cobalt car for, like, almost half a season. It sucks that their sponsorship kind of cut down, but this was, like, this turning point where, you know, Cobalt, as you guys know, that's a tool company that's owned by Lowe's. That is Lowe's official tool, uh, official tool company, which, you know, I brought, I bought some of their products before. Not too bad. I mean, you know, Lowe's seems like it's, it's, I, I do get some tools there, you know, from time to time. Um, I mean, heck, I, I have found more better stuff um, at Lowe's than Home Depot. I mean, heck, especially at this point. I mean, Home Depot was long out of an ass car. So at least Lowe's was able to keep their keep their run going before um, that ended after the after 2017. But, um, yeah, guys, I mean, this is such a great... I, I mean, after 2018, actually. Uh, what the hell am I talking about? Jesus. <laughs> right, am I sure I'm a NASCAR fan now? <laughs> just kidding, though. Just kidding. Um, but I, I really do like this car, guys. I really do. Even Jimmy Johnson's bright yellow uh, name right there. Just, like, I don't know, man. Just every time I see yellow on Jimmy Johnson's car, you know you're going to get excited, man. And the splitter and the paint scheme. Great looking car. Um, I think he led, like, around, like, like 19 or 20 laps at this race. Uh, I think he was close to... Uh, I think well, he started 16th and finished 11th, so he ran pretty decent. I mean, not as mediocre as he is now or inconsistent as he is since the last three years, sadly. But, yeah, as you guys know, 2017, I mean, I'm sure Jimmy Johnson fans know this. Just, first of all, got to pay respect to all the Jimmy Johnson fans out there. I mean, I can sit and complain. No matter how many times your driver struggles, there's nothing more that hurts the eye than seeing what Jimmy Johnson fans have seen. I honestly feel very sorry for you guys, and I know many people who are great friends and fans who are Jimmy Johnson fans, and my God, guys, I just, hopefully this guy, I mean, when he missed the playoffs at the Daytona race, I legitimately almost wanted to cry, literally, because it was just so sad seeing a guy like this, a seven-time champion, not getting into the playoffs, but he was, like, almost there, like, man, it just sucked, man, and this is coming from a guy who really did not like Jimmy Johnson, I mean, I literally stopped watching NASCAR in 2009, because I was just tired of this guy winning, boy, have things come full circle now, but anyways, guys, that's enough little life story about me and Jimmy Johnson, but, uh, I mean, heck, it's gonna be weird without him next year, guys, I mean, he might run a part-time schedule, but just, he's, the, 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 his arms are definitely welcome in IndyCar, I tell you that, man, I mean, heck, Anyways, um, beautiful looking paint scheme, guys, as now we're going to be looking at a side by side comparison of his Lowe's car, which I got to admit, I really am a big fan of this, but we had a lot of cool looking uh, schemes that we got released for NASCAR Athletics. Look at that, guys. Kind of wrong if we got the window banners right here, but we didn't got it with the Cobalt scheme, so uh, that's one line that was starting to cut corners with the NASCAR Athletics line. I mean, probably the last good time NASCAR Athletics was actually pretty good. Um, still don't know why they took the window banners, man. I mean, just look how much more, you know, robust and uniform that looks. But Forever, though, I mean, cost production is cost production, I guess. I mean, these things are only $5, so can't really complain. Oh, wait, I like to because I'm an avid diecast collector, and heck, I'll complain as much as I want, whether people like it or not. But basically, the exact same scheme, guys. But as you can see right there, two different finishes. The Cobalt scheme has a matte finish, and we have a metallic finish right here. So that's pretty cool. So if you guys love your special finish diecast, these are two great diecasts to get because we got the glossy metallic finish right here on the Lowe's primary. Also on the Bristol race win as well. Uh, we also had his Patriotic car that was also released. So we had a lot of cool Jimmy Johnson schemes that were released in 2017 uh, compared to, you know, uh, the, some of the... Don't, really don't have that much variety in NASCAR Authentics anymore with Jimmy Johnson. But, you know, I mean, especially in 2018, man. I mean, whew, that was... Uh, I mean, that, that, that year wasn't too bad. But, I mean, heck, man. Uh, actually, if I remember correctly, I think, what, like, we even got his... Uh, um, well, yeah, 2018, yeah, we didn't really have that much... Uh, for um, Jimmy Johnson, sadly. Uh, well, only like two die casts, and then we only have like, what, like another two from 2019. Hopefully, we'll get more than two die casts for this year, guys, for Jimmy Johnson. Um, actually, make that three, because we also had his 2001 uh, Power of Pride scheme as well. So, huh, look who's counting now. <laughs> um, but yeah, really do like this die cast a lot, guys. Um, Jimmy Johnson, I believe, he did score his last three wins. Um, Hopefully not his last three, but his most recent wins in 2017, which were at, um, this is all before the playoffs, which was at Dover, Bristol, and Texas, I believe. That was pretty cool. They made a race version of his Bristol win, which I did check out. I mean, if you guys want to talk about a throwback review, check out that diecast view, and you can see how long and, you know, how how, how the evolution of my diecast views had began, because that was one of the first NASCAR Thanks reviews I did, and heck, I mean, just pretty appropriate to review this car, um, considering, uh, you know, Jimmy Johnson did got the 200th win with this uh, sponsor for Henry Motorsports 
in 2012. So, only makes sense for that to happen. But anyways, guys, hope you guys showed this diecast review. As, look at me, I almost did something that i never done on NASCAR Thanks Review. I did not show off the magnets. But this magnet is quite pathetic. It's just a black hat with number 48, which doesn't even look that good at all. I mean, it looks like, you want to talk about bad Photoshop skills? That's bad Photoshop right there. I mean, holy crap. At least the Cobalt logo looks okay, but that's some bad Photoshopping right there. Luckily, we haven't seen these again because this is probably my least favorite car. I mean, I'd rather go for a trivia card than this, man. I mean, my God. But anyways, enough of me talking about a freaking magnet, guys. This has been OBB, the Diecast News guy. Thanks for watching this Diecast review of the Jimmy Johnson 2017 of Cobalt Tools. Lowe's Chevrolet SS 400 Motorsports. If you guys enjoyed this diecast review and a lot of other NASCAR diecast reviews, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe today as this has been the Diecast News Guy, OBB. I don't know why I just said it like that, but whatever. And I'll catch you guys on another diecast review very soon.